Lieutenant Colonel Paul Kastner, Commander, 32nd CST. 32nd CST is taking part in an exercise called Caribbean Thunder. It's a multi-CST operation, including the Puerto Rican National Guard, their CST, as well as the Ohio National Guard CST. It's a multi-CST mission, and we have an exercise scenario where there's been an incident at a convention center in Puerto Rico where a suspected WMD agent's been released, unknown what the agent is. The convention center is such a large building that it's going to take three CSTs to go in to try and find where the agent might be and to identify it. What they're doing now is just what we call site characterization or room clearing. What they do is they'll come in and they'll look around this room and it's just like a, a SWAT team clearing a room. What they're looking for is anything that doesn't belong, something that looks suspicious, but they want to do it quick because you could get really hyper-focused, what we call hyper-focused, and they can get focused on one thing in there and miss something. So what they're doing is they're going in there and they're looking at their instruments. They're also paying attention to everything around them. They're looking for things that don't fit. Like if this is an abandoned room, there shouldn't be tools or anything like that in there. There shouldn't be cleaning supplies probably in there. So that kind of stuff will, will trigger them to, to look further. Uh, wires, uh, powders, stuff like that shouldn't be in there. So normally is they'll mark it. But we won't do that because of the building. But they would mark it to let people know that come behind them, hey, we were already in here, it's clear. Because what will happen is if another team comes in and they don't know, they'll do all this all over again. So, and a lot of it is intelligence driven because the other two teams found something over one room 141 and 131. And what they will do is they'll come down and pay it close attention to maybe 121 to see if there's anything going on there. What I'd like to share with everyone is the 32nd CST is Maryland's number one immediate response to any sort of hazardous incident or weapons of mass destruction attack. It's something we take a great deal of pride in making sure that we are always ready to go no matter when we're called upon.